One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're on an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a call from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at a warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. I doubt I know how to get into this one. So what have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. Put a noodle lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's 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 real easy. You can take this car or something older. Whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie.
Hey, Tommy. We're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We want you with us in case of any trouble. But it should be real easy. We don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so he'll probably be drinking more soon before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. It's the light. Police, countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure he ain't too bothered. You saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole the right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? Had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. It smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, your friend, he's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs>
They're all dead! What? The truck crew. Out there in the back. They wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. The barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone and get to within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. That was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh, <laughs> we're going to the doctor. I ain't feeling so good. Be coming down. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. 
Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. Keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got him. Holy, it looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doctor. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing there so late? Good evening, Doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. But Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, he'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. That's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one. <laughs>